after months on the lines, fighting, patrolling, standing still and waiting. After surviving battles, wounds and propaganda, the greatest of all survival challenges begins to threaten extreme fatigue and psychological strain. I don't think I could honestly sit here and tell you that there wasn't a day that I wasn't afraid. When you're hiding like an animal, covering your head with your hands, you know you're defenseless. When you were being bombed, you just keep your head low and say Hail Marys. That's the honest-to-God truth. It was scary. When it woke me up, it was like there was a thousand dogs barking. Bombs and mortars all the time. I, I don't know if you have fear or not, but you have... Oh, how could you describe it? Well, you know, is there no end to them, you know? Are we going to do this forever? You do your act of contrition. In other words, you think you'll never get out alive. That's it. It's a gamble. You'll never know what'll happen. That's what is so worrisome. You never know when it'll strike, right? You throw yourself on the mercy of God. Some end up being taken as prisoners of war. Those things happen. He walked out burning. He was a man that was, I'd say, six foot three, about 250. And at the time he was shriveled up, he was very tiny. And there's nothing he could do because we had no water to even. Had to run for blankets to put over him. And then that was too late. That's hard. When somebody's in a really bad situation and you can't do anything. It was a bit of a demoralizing affair because I remember one of my Bren gunners and he'd been firing valiantly away and he could see people going down. And then in the morning when the sun came up, there was one body hanging on the barbed wire. And he said, geez, you know, was I seeing things? <laughs> we had to explain to them, no, they just took them away. They had all kinds of tricks. One day we woke up and all our mines, the ones in front of our positions, had all been dug up and moved. It's not like a cowboy movie, where people get shot and carry on covering their wound with their hand. The impact is like getting hit with a sledgehammer. And then you fall. Sometimes you got so tight and wound on the inside, you wondered how you could still breathe. Damn, that's not funny. Not funny at all. It's really hard to see a buddy die. It may be the ultimate sacrifice, but you never get used to it. When a soldier is killed at war, he has to be identified. I had been sent to identify this guy, and it really got to me. Seeing him laying there, not moving, with bullet holes and everything, I didn't like that. Didn't like it at all. You don't get used to death. You understand it. You accept it. But to get used to it, no.